is like a roller coaster, moving slowly up the steep, inclined hill until suddenly it drops at the speed of light. At least for me, that's how my life started and ended. I never really noticed how beautiful life really was. How the clear blue sky opened in the morning and how the bright white stars glistened in the night. Unfortunately for me, I didn't live long enough to appreciate what God offered me. Maybe that's the reason why I had one week to live. My life changed instantly. I didn't know how fast it really hit me. I was just so normal. My life existed only as a normal function of reality. I had two loving parents, a bratty younger sister, and a group of friends who cared for me and cheered me up when I was down. Of course, of course, the majority of my time was spent studying. That's what my whole friend group was all about. Study, sleep, repeat, and the occasional mall get together. And of course, my life existed with none other than the one thing that kept me sane photography. Later in time, I realized that I wasn't capturing the right images. You guys are seriously the best models I've ever worked with. <laughs> so now you know a little about who I am, or should I say, who I was. And now I will explain to you how my life ended. One minute she's the sweetest, most innocent girl we know, and the next she's posting pictures of her smoking God knows what and hooking up with 20 year old guys. I can't believe we were friends with her last year. Did you guys know that she was high during our math final? No shit, really? She used to be so focused on getting good grades. Yeah, well I guess that's what studying too hard does to you. You okay? Why are you all looking at me like my hat just died? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just bored, I guess. Why? Because each time we get a break off school, it's the same thing. It's a time for my mom to go on a business trip, and my dad and sister to just stay home and be annoying. I just wish I could go on a cool adventure, like you, Rachel. I mean, I'm excited to go to Hawaii, but you know my parents. It's not like we're going skydiving or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. I just need something to focus on, I guess. I'm pretty sure I've already taken pictures of every single person in the county. <laughs> what you need is a winter fling. And a lot of cheesecake. <laughs> is a winter fling even a thing? Yeah, but I think a better word for it is hookup. With a really, really hot guy. <laughs> and I think I have the perfect guy for you. Oh my god, he's really hot. He'd be perfect. <laughs> I don't know. He's just not really my type. Well, that's because your type is limited to one specific guy. Cass, Justin is a dick. And you could do so much better. I know, but we used to have something special. Up until he met his new douchebag friends, he was so great. Honestly, I wouldn't even call him his friends. They just don't even care about him at all. Yeah, but as much as you think you can change him back, he just won't go back to the way he was. But there are plenty other fish in the sea. You're right. We just had this amazing connection, and he made me feel so happy. It's just hard to think I can't have that again. Well, do you think if you told him the way you felt, he'd feel the same? I doubt it. All he hears about now is random hookups. Do you want to hook up with him? No. I haven't even had my first kiss yet. I want it to be special. And if he doesn't want to be with me, then I'm going to be even more depressed than I already am. I never thought you would be the last one to have your first kiss. <laughs> yeah, I always thought it'd be Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> this fabulous winter break, Cassie Fisher loses her innocence. <laughs> you know, doing the dishes isn't that hard. You could try helping me some time. Or maybe you could get off that thing and read a book. Jesus. Um, Cassie? Why is Ted's phone beeping? It's probably a sign from God telling you to do something productive. No, seriously. Look! Is this some kind of virus or prank or something? I don't know. I 
I didn't do anything. I promise. Oh my god. Dad! Dad! Where the hell is he? I don't know what's going on, Cass. Girls! Girls! What the heck is going on? I don't know the science behind it, but in, in a week, solar flares are going to travel into the Earth. Why are you not freaking out? This was meant to happen years ago. I can't stop this. So I don't want to spend this week freaked out. I want to spend it with my girls. I'm gonna call your mom. Does he even die? I don't know, Julia. Mom is stuck in Vermont because the airports are backed up. Stay here with your sister. I need to bring Mom home. How long is the drive? I'm not sure, but I'll drive days if I have to. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Cass. Julia's sleeping right now, okay? But I want you to tell her what's going on. Take good care of her. Look, if, if I'm not back before, <clears throat> you know, just, just know that I'm so proud of you and your sister. of people more your thing? It was, but to be honest, my backyard is much prettier than my friends. <laughs> I'm scared, Cass. I know, but everything is gonna be okay. Alexa? Michelle is dead. Killed herself so she wouldn't have to watch her family die. I can't believe this is happening. She didn't even say goodbye. It doesn't make any sense. Why? She never talked about being depressed or upset or anything. The world is fucking ending, Cass. Get it in your head. You don't know that. Look, whatever will happen, my parents won't give up their tickets. So I have to go to the airport soon. You're still going? My parents want to spend their last week on vacation. I think it's a horrible idea. I'll text you guys, but I don't know how much I'll be able to talk. I love you both. Rach, please call. With everything going on, we need you. I'll try.
my dad ran off to get my mom. It's great, but he left just like that. He didn't even ask Julia or I if we wanted to go. You know how much your parents love you. I know. I can't imagine what Michelle's parents must be feeling right now. They should be happy. What the hell, Alexa? Their daughter just killed herself. She didn't have to suffer like the rest of us. She got to die in peace. She died out of fear, Alexa. And I swear to God, if you go off and kill yourself too, I swear. You swear to what, Cass? I don't want to die the long and painful death. We already have less than a week left. Why do I not get to die of my own free will? Because I don't know what's going to happen. I keep telling myself that everything will be okay, but I don't think so. I want my last few days to end the way they should, without fear or pain or regret. Then these last few days, we shall live. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a burrito, a side of rice, guacamole, beans, salsa, some chips, and a churro? You sure? Do you guys sell cake? Yeah. Hey, can I get this to go? Sure. Come on, let's go. We have to pay. No. <laughs> Remember when she just has all those papers and she just collapsed? Oh my god, Miss Garfinkel is the worst. <laughs> She's so mean. Remember she gave you detention? Yeah, because I like breathed. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably too loud. You can't breathe that loud. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Garfinkel. Oh <laughs> Get out of yourself. <laughs> there was like no water. I have to go. My stepmom wants me home for dinner. Okay, I'll probably just see you after that then. Yeah. It's not like you're my only friend or anything. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
we're talking to this right now. I need something from me, I don't think I can get it to you. My stash just ran out. I'm ready. You decided to change your mind about me. You know, I really didn't appreciate those hate calls from your friends. I didn't tell them about us. Because I don't want to seem weaker than I already was. You know, not wanting to have sex with him is stooping pretty low. I'm ready now. Girl walks in like that. I can't do this.